Okay, all right. Yeah, I'm 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 in I'm in there. Can I hear you? Yeah, you can hear me. All right. Good, 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 good. What's up, everybody? MM2K. We're doing our first spaces. Y'all see the title. The question we're asking is do 30 frames per second only game modes need to perish? I would have put need to die in there, need to perish seems it sounds a little corny, but for some reason, uh X or Twitter, whatever the fuck you want to call it wouldn't let me start the, the spaces. So I thought it was something trivial like that. Like, you can't use the word die. So, but that, but y'all get the point. Uh, we want to welcome everybody to the spaces. Thank you very much. We're recording this. So I know it's just me and cold blood in here right now, but in case you're listening to this and you don't know who the flip I am, but let's just say if this spaces turns upside down on its head, <laughs> it goes crazy. It gets one of those bonkers spaces. At least you'll know who the hell we are and who started this shit. Uh, my name is mf 2 k I'm a gaming content creator. I got my partner in crime, my PNC with me, my homie Cold Blood Sensei. He's going to be co-hosting this stream with me. Um, we create both the both of us create content on MM2K gaming uh, news and MM2K gaming streams. We call it MM2K Gaming Network. At the moment, we talk about the latest and greatest in AAA genre defining gaming, but we do it with no holds bars. Our our shit is not safe for work. You know what I'm saying? We have grown up. Discussions with grown-ups. So even though we may take the filter off our conversations, we're not for all this love and hip hop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just straight up trying to insult people just to insult them and not staying on focus. So we'll give y'all liberty. We'll give y'all room to to act. You know, to, to be excited and be passionate. But we're, we're not going to turn into one of those spaces. So we just ask that you you draw the line there. Um, but yeah, we're not safe for work. We do content on just look for mm2k gaming and you'll find all of our channels uh we do shows live shows every monday wednesday and friday tuesday and thursdays is when we put up recorded content we may do some gaming shit at. um and what we're trying and then we have, then we have a pop in discord as well it's called geeks it's spelled differently it's d-e-i-x is the discord it's called geeks and if you join us there you'll you'll be matched up and paired up with other gamers that are like-minded, you know, that want to play some, some top-notch games, that want to discuss them, as Z would say, uh, talk your shit and pop your spit, you know what I'm saying? That's what we, we do there. So, um, that's pretty much it for our intro. Uh, right, you, you all connected there, good friend, on the phone? Okay, Cold Blood's still getting connected. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. For some reason, X kicked me out. And uh, I was like, what the hell? Let me see if I can invite other people. Is this is how you invite people. Co host, invite co host. Uh, Let's send something out to our brother Sean. Sean is not in this space. Okay, but I can't send an invite. Request to speak, listeners, ask speakers. Um, I'll send a speaker invite. Who can else? You hear me? Okay, now we can hear you, good brother. Dor Yeager. Y'all got y'all got to excuse it. You got to excuse the brother. I um we got Snow Bunny in the house. Uh, let me see who else. We got the homie Low Files. Okay, all right. What else we got? people show up yeah yeah i'm trying to wait for some people to show up let me see here um i mean we can start talking a little bit about the subject matter as people i'm sending invites to folks who else um let me see twisted twisted sin the homie twisted sin 887 there he goes if he wants to come in who else we got in here we got, uh, I know, Ron, yeah, we, 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 we want Ron Slusher. <laughs> Twist this in. I sent him an invite. Okay. Send speaker invite. Okay, so I sent speaker invite. Then who else we got in here? We got, um, I sent one to Doriega. I'm going to send one to uh, Ron Slusher because you know Ron Slusher want to come up here with some 
some pro field propaganda. You know what I'm saying? Let him up in here. Okay. Invite co hosts and speakers. Ron Slusher. There he goes. Ron Slusher. Who else? And Geek. Geek to Sneak. We'll let Geek to Sneak come up in here. Geek. Geek. Yeah, y'all got to bear with me. I'm sorry. This is my first time doing this. It's a little wonky. Uh oh. Did we lose? We lost Cold Blood. We lost Cold Blood. Well, I can talk, man. Ain't no thing to me. I can talk. All right. So here's what's going on, y'all. Um, in light of Xbox and PlayStation, and more so Xbox than anybody, right? But PlayStation understood the job as well. That gamers came out of last gen and they were like, yo, it's cool that you gave us 4K, true 4K, or checkerboard 4K resolution in these pro machines, you know what I'm saying? But we really want these frames. We want these 60 frames per second, right? And what Microsoft did in particular is they made that their identity. They made that their staple going into this generation. You heard it. You heard the podcast where they were like, yo, there's going to be 30 to 40 frame deltas. I don't know what the I don't know what the hell that means, but this cool. I, I I don't know if that meant it was going to be 30 to 40 planes from from the plane company delta or what. But there's going to be 30 to 40 plane uh, frame deltas. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else did they say? They say that there's going to be uh, that the PlayStation would still be an okay platform to build for, but you going demand performance is going to be on the Series X, right? We even had Aaron Greenberg that came out. You know, at some point in time, he said, uh, he came out and said, you know what? Uh-oh, somebody else there? Did I hear something? We had Aaron Greenberg come out at some point in time and say, 60 frames per second is going to be our standard. But then he had to be corrected. I think the hardware team came out to him and said, look, Aaron, I don't know if he was taking sleep. He was eating some ding-dongs during, during a meeting, during a hardware meeting, but that, that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? And it was believable. People believed it because, and people even retweeted it. We got people having receipts pulled out on them because they retweeted that and regurgitated that because of all the rhetoric, the RDNA 2.0 and this one's only 1.5 and all the stuff that's on GitHub because all that stuff was being regurgitated day after day after day. That was the expectation set with the gamer. And we go into this generation actually with the company that we were being led to believe was going to have the most difficulty with performance modes and, and, and giving 60 frames per second on their games, that's actually become a standard for them where it's not a standard for the ones that were bragging and boasting about this the most. So that brought up in our minds, Cold Blood and I, it, it brought up a big question in our minds, right? Like, are we, are we going back in time? I felt like we took like 10 steps forward in focusing on 30 and 60 frames per second modes, giving people options. But, but I feel like we're, we're taking 12 steps back. So the question in cold blood and eyes mind is, is 30 frames per second, is that something that was used as an advertising ploy to get us into this next generation, but certain people just did not have the aspirations or the real hopes to even target that? Is the way they were making it out to be. And secondly, what can we do about that? Because now this is what we want. Like I know me in particular, at the end of last generation, I started playing in ways to where 60 frames per second was a standard for me. It's even to the point to where I can't even play 30 frames per second games anymore. I, I bullshit you not. I go try to play a 30 frames per second game, I start getting headaches. It's crazy. So... Are we now at that point to where they thought that they could pull the wool over our eyes and give us marketing gimmicks to buy these new boxes, but some of these folks out here knew that that wasn't the, the line they were going to straddle, that they were going to try to, again, do more improved visuals, you know what I'm saying, and they're even going back on the resolution in order to do it, you know what I'm saying, and are they using Unreal Engine 5 as a crutch? That's the big question that we want to ask. We want to ask who are the guiltiest parties of this, and then what should we do as a gaming community? Because here's the thing. 
And this is why I create content. I completely understand the business side because I've been on the business side for the past two and a half, more close to three decades now, right? I'm, a, I'm, an, old, I'm an old fogey, all right? And I know what motivates businesses. I, I know what, under, what motivates Fortune 500. Even our company is a Fortune 100 company now that I work for. Don't ask because I can't tell you. Uh, but I know what motivates them. It's not necessarily giving you what you want. It's creating a gimmick to get you hooked on their product or services or make you feel like it's a need so then they can go to the investor who is the true prize and say, look, we got these people hook line, line and sinker, whether we meet their expectations or not. Therefore, there's a lot of money that you can be rewarded with if you invest in us. Put your dollar in us. By the end of this year, that dollar will change to two, three dollars. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the true prize when it comes to these companies. They're just using gaming as a catalyst to connect to the investors. You, the consumer, are just in, just in the middle of that. Like, for instance, when you go to the supermarket, you go to the supermarket and you look for a grass beef, a grass fed beef, right? It's not because you think the grass is tasty. You want the beef. But the grass represents healthy eating, strength, you know what I'm saying? Good product. You know, this, this, this cow was being raised right, and so therefore when I go consume it, you know what I'm saying? It was fed the best stuff. It's, you know, it, it got the best resources ahead of it. So this is going to be a healthy cut of meat that I'm going to be able to indulge into. That's what the grass represents in that equation. When it comes to gaming and these big conglomerate companies, you are the grass. You are the ones that they just use to nurture their true prize, which is the investor. So sitting there trying to make excuses for these companies, trying to sit there and say, oh, no, you don't understand the difficulties that, that they have, like you're an actual employee or you're an investor, is counterproductive to you as a consumer. So that's why when we host these spaces, we're talking about real shit that consumers need to be concerned about. Not know how can we uh, wood buff <laughs> executives who don't give a rat shit about who we are individually. So again, the question beckons. Is 30 frames per second game only game modes do they need to die? It looks like that we're now at a point to where um, developers don't feel like that they need to uh, move up to that standard. And that's a problem. So, with that said, let me see. Who do we have in here? It's really hard for you, right? Okay. I can't even see you, which is weird. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to listen. Okay. So it says the host is recording. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Listen live. Uh, and I don't know if people are having difficulty getting in. I'm seeing people trying to get in. Cold blood. I but, saw one. Yeah. The rules adjust that. All right, so did you have any thoughts on this cold blood on, on what's going on with um, 30 frames per second gaming and how we were set this expectation that there would be a lot of 60 frames per second gaming, but now people are using Unreal Engine as an excuse, so we're not getting it the way we should? If they call state-of-the-art 964p at 30 <laughs> FPS, brother, we, we are fucked when it comes to getting 60 <laughs> FPS games, brother. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is crazy so, some people really uh, find any excuse in the book for for 30 FPS games yeah like, yeah like, oh, this one is on Unreal Engine oh, this one is, has so much going on in it mm -hmm. fucking Starfield like yeah well, there was so much going on literally empty ass planets <laughs> uh, and Starfield, what is that? Is Starfield, um, Unreal Five or no? 
No, that, no, that's that, that's their no, fucking engine, right? that's, that's the f- damn creation engine. Yeah, that's the creation engine. Yeah, and, and, and Redfall is an Unreal Engine five, right? Mm. Did they change it to Unreal Engine five? Let me see. Let me check it out. Because I think it was an Unreal Engine four. Which okay. is yeah, they, they even, even funnier. It's even funnier that that shit launched at 30 <laughs> FPS at all. <laughs> Sh- uh, how that game looked, it should have launched at 120 standard. No, it's it's it's, it's UE4, bro. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I say. It should have launched at 120 FPS. Not, not, not ah, ah, ah. Yeah. So that brings up a whole nother issue. Like, okay, so we got, we we ha- I think we have. I don't want to say legitimate. But we have a traceable issue with Unreal Engine 5, which that's a problem within itself because if you as a game developer know that motherfuckers are looking for frames and you want to wait till like three days before launch to tell us, oh yeah, we can't get 60 and it's because of Unreal 5, I'm not trying to hear that shit either. But I think the bigger problem is, okay... These games from Xbox ain't even got Unreal. You're not even built on Unreal Engine Five, and they're thirty frames per second. What what is going on here? What do, what do you think is going on, Cold Blood? What, what, what's going on at Xbox that they can't reach the identity that they set at the beginning of this generation? I always say, why uh, have budget for sixty FPS mode for a game that probably ain't gonna sell shit? Yeah. Like, they already gave up on sales. Starfield was the only one where it must have been probably their incompetence. But all, but uh, Hellblade and Redfall is just, they didn't, didn't give a fuck to yeah. optimize game for 60. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Like, that's really insane. Like, yeah, now that I look at, like, I'm thinking that, like, I, okay, Redfall, it had to be in Unreal Engine 5 to where it doesn't look impressive to us, but because it's in a new engine and the way that the technology is being applied, it, it, it must be more taxing. It must be, quote unquote, more expensive, if you, as you're starting to hear people say. But it's in Unreal Engine 4. So it's like it's like they were like kind of telling you without telling you. Okay, we suckered you in. We got you in. We were talking all this performance narrative shit. But now that we got you, you're, you're just going to take whatever we give to you. And we're going to see how far we go with this. I mean, that's how I, I take it. I mean, is, is, is that how it looks to you? Hmm. Well, to me, it all looks like just... It's a I don't give a fuck uh, uh, mentality over there. Yeah. Just release games for Game Pass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like because they, they they promise us every uh, free uh, free months what one triple uh, A game or, or something like that on uh, a triple A release on uh, Game Pass. I don't see none of that. Well, no, they call they, they call a cold blood. They call it uh, every quarter. They're going to release a game at quality. <laughs> so oh. you got it right. It's at quality. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck did they release this quarter? <laughs> it's had quality. Well, the game at quality is the illustrious 964p Hellblade 2. That yeah, but that's uh, next quarter. Is that yeah, 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 yeah? They didn't release anything this quarter. You're right. You're right. Right? Yeah. Well, not, yeah. Not, nothing of significance. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't release a game of quality this quarter. Quote unquote. Did they release anything? I can't think of anything. Nah. Mm. No, maybe they're con- maybe what they're considering because you know how they like to switch it up. Oh, oh, they they, uh, they release shit on PlayStation. Yeah, <laughs> they consider, <laughs> they consider that the plan. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> or even their quality release. It's not about the console. It's about what releases and ga- what launches in Game Pass. So one could argue, right, that. They launched uh, fucking uh, Diablo 4. That Diablo 4 was a game of quality that launched in the Game Pass. 
Maybe that's it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't wait, know. wait, wait, wait. But then, what the fuck about day and date? That that is true. That is true. Because Diablo <laughs> Four is now fucking twenty dollars. It, it really does not uh, matter if you rent it or just straight up buy it. No. Um. Oh damn! Is that low shit? Yeah. It, it's there, there. There's no when Xbox gives you a standard. There, the floor is always weak. It's always like a trap door there. So yeah, I'm I'm just trying to connect the dots. I'm trying to pretend that I'm stupid enough to, you know, try to work at Xbox and and, and work in their PR department and and figure this shit out. And um, I'm trying to come up with the best scenario to to explain this to to underscore their identity. But that's the problem with Xbox. The way this hurts them is it. I think it destroys any identity that they had left. Like, okay, you don't want to be the shooter box anymore. That's fine. You were supposed to now be the power. You're supposed to def- you were going to define power this generation. And you're still clinging on to that because you now you got Sarah Mon saying this silly stuff about this is the biggest technological leap you're going to see in a generation. Like, maybe you should let that go. Maybe let the power narrative go and maybe just say, hey, look, cheat, cheat gaming anywhere you want. I think that's your I think that's your identity. Cheat gaming anywhere you want. Like have mofos uh, dressed up in, in street rags and shit. No, but how about they under promise and over deliver for once? Well, in order to do that, you got to deliver. And that's sure, and but but just under promise that yeah, we have something cooking up for next gen. But don't don't hype up any fucking power or nothing, and then completely destroy the PlayStation when you actually come up with that shit. But if they're gonna now say shit like "oh, the biggest leap uh, in in hardware ever," mm-hmm. bro, like what expectations are you setting here? Yeah, the biggest leap we ever had was the uh, from what 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 they called uh, before the PlayStation One. Um, I don't know. Uh, what well, the, the fucking Nintendo and Sega, whatever console was out at that mm-hmm. time. Yeah, that but was I, the biggest leap in, in hardware. That shit was from 2D to 3D. Mm. It was a big ass leap. Since then, yeah, we had some leaps, but nothing of that significance. And I'm assuming that they're referencing to streaming capabilities to where if you do it at the high end level maybe you can get 4k 120 like what we're seeing with nvidia geforce now but it's all about but you can't here here's the problem with that cold blood let's just say if you can do that or that's what you're aiming for how smooth is it how smooth is the the connection because not everybody that does this cloud gaming shit is their stuff good on the other end not like you know what i mean it's not like me and you go back and forth all the time about who's the best, who's whatever. You know what I'm saying? But so it's it's subjective from endpoint to endpoint. So if you're gonna speak definitively about that, good is your how good is your product? You know, and you really don't know until you put this in people's hands. You got you got to put this in users' hands. I don't, I don't I don't. It's like when Stadia came out and they did with that project stream. They couldn't. They were only able to get 4K capability. Because they did Project Stream, they took that data back, and then they were able to enhance and give you a 4K stream. We've seen none of that from Xbox. So how do you even know what you want to do? You're going to land in that area. So to lead back to your point, why are you using these grandiose terms? I would just, like right now, before you, before you come out with your marketing taglines, I would just say, to, like, like what you're saying, hey, look, we're going to, we, we got something coming up next generation. Uh, we really feel like that those that look at performance, look at fidelity, we feel like that you will like what we have, the, what we have to offer. That's it. Already over-promising. In my opinion, right now, anything Xbox says is over-promising. Well, that's what I'm saying. You got to, because they can't deliver. And that came back to the thing where I wasn't trying to sound mean. They just, they don't know how to deliver on anything that they say, except for controllers. That's, it. That's why they have to look at Sony and copy a little bit what they do by 
sh- shutting the fuck up, literally. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> this is the only way you you you're not gonna set expectations that are just impossible to reach. Well, in order for them to do what Sony's doing, and again, I'm not trying to make it seem like Sony's perfect. Hell no, we we just we just curb star off the twenty. No, 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 I think the best way for them right now is to just let this the gen play out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Without no fucking big promises of uh, dreams and hopes and whatever the fuck, fucking uh, unicorns. <laughs> no, no. You you shut the fuck up and work yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. You you really put the best people on this project. Yeah. You got the money, Microsoft. You're just yeah, losing. I mean, it. They got more money than anybody's ever tried this shit. On his side of the fence. And if if Satya really cares about gaming, bro, well, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. Why? why uh, no, I mean, why not give Phil the full fucking control? Then? You know, you got some billions. Go ahead, do the best fucking thing ever. Let let's let's just outspend everybody. Here, here's why Satya doesn't care about like people misunderstand Satya's intent. They think because he threw. A fucking exor- exuberant amount of money at gaming. Oh, this guy really cares about. He cares about gaming as it can boost the cloud. He saw what happened when after they bought Minecraft, how leaving portions of that on AWS, how that widened the uh, gap. Moss, but if that is true, then why the fuck is Excla what it is today? Well, well, you well, because. Well, because of the guy that they just let go. Because they came up with a piss poor solution. And like Ann uh, or Amy Hood said, they were trying to turn it into a golden toilet. Like, like, here's the thing. Sanji is the eight, he's the Azure guy. All he knows is that Azure is the shit Azure, Azure is is capable, right? You know, Azure gets all this praise and all this shit. So look, attach Azure to whatever you're doing, we're good. And it's just that that infrastructure that they had of putting servers in the sky, it didn't work. But Sachi doesn't know. He don't know shit about gaming, bro. He don't know that. He's expecting Phil to be able to execute on that shit. And when Phil couldn't execute on that, I think that's why you have this Xbox 2.0. More of a third-party trademark. Kareem is gone. The mother, the, the, art, the, the architect of that, that, that whole idea is gone. Well, I want to say he's the architect of the idea. I think the idea came from Phil, but the architect of that style is gone. And they're, they've integrated the AI and, and the cloud into the, the ex, this, call, this experiences group, where I feel like now they're going to try to do some proper server grade, uh, server blade shit. You know what I mean? Now Sachi gets it. He's probably he's sitting there saying to himself, this motherfucker don't know what he's talking. He don't know what he's doing. He's sitting in email. He's probably sitting there talking to Amy, bro. Like, this motherfucker, you know how I me and you be looking at the chat sometimes when we're live and we be seeing some crazy comments from shout out to JK. We see some crazy shit. And me and you be like, hey, bro, this motherfucker really put this out here in the chat. He's, he's crazy. So he's probably sitting with his assistant, Amy Hood, and he's like, this motherfucker really told me that they got better hardware than the, than the PlayStation 5. And I believed him. He really convinced me to make Bethesda um, exclusive out of the box when, when Tim Stewart was telling me otherwise. And I believed him. Oh, this dude, this dude better get with the program now. That's what I think you see. So that's why X Cloud. To you, it's a great point. The, to, to answer that, the, the TLDR to that question is because he trusted Phil. Because he trusted Phil. Everybody in a grandmommy knew, except for those that were disenfranchised from state. And nothing against y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all like kids I pay child support for. <laughs> I, except for y'all that were disenfranchised from Stadia and y'all were looking for a cheap way to cloud game. Everybody outside of that bubble knows that xCloud just was not showing off the cloud ga- gaming capabilities properly. They know that. Opposed to what was promised, they know that. Everybody in the grandmammy knew that. And anybody that's capping for it now your cap has been eradicated. Why? Because the chief architect of that, he's gone. So everything that we were saying is even X, Xbox didn't even believe in X Cloud. The way that it was designed. 
because what we were saying was right. This was not the proper way to design it. So, yeah, that was that's why it it looks the way that it does is because he trusted Phil. All all Satya wants to do is thwart his competition in cloud wherever cloud exists, and cloud also exists and is starting to grow in gaming. So that's the only reason why he's interested in gaming. That's it. So, but I just don't know what people are going to do as it relates to um, these new set of promises because I don't know how, if you were one that was big on the hardware side of it, I don't know how you trust the new promises when you were led astray with the old promises. And back to the whole 60 frames per second thing. Look, <laughs> bro, we seen the receipts, man. And everybody was laughing at PlayStation foolishly, but they were like, oh man, all their games are only going to be 30 frames per second. Oh man. And now y'all getting 946. What was that? 946? Sounds like an area code. 9, 946, right? Right? Cold oh, blood is not nine, nine, 964. Oh, no, oh, I'm sorry. 964. Who, whose area code is 964 in the state? The 964P. <laughs> 964P, bro. On the world's most powerful console. No, uh, in my opinion, 30 FPS modes should only exist if you can promise to have. 4K, I, actual I, 4K. I agree. At least at that point, you see the fucking difference I to agree. a performance mode. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, sure. the ga The gameplay is going to suffer for it, mm -hmm. but goddamn, at least you got eye candy. Yeah. E even on console. Yep. But only 30 FPS at <laughs> at lower than 1080p. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah. Totally. You ain't getting no seventy dollars, no fifty dollars, no fucking forty dollars for the shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh uh. Ain't happening. At I that point I'm gonna say, uh, fuck y'all, I go on PC. Yeah. I totally agree. And to me this goes for Microsoft or anybody, bro. Like I think Microsoft. Course, this is not only on, uh, not uh, addressed only to, to Xbox. It's also addressed to PlayStation. If, if they start doing that shit, bro. Oh, no. Shit, for, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> no, no. Would you would you say, Cold Blood? You gonna have to start capping for G4 Sal with me, it's like, no, I'm just fucking. Hell no. <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna be with. Oh no, it's Alex over there. <laughs> Steve Deck. <laughs> I had to give it a shot, man. We got, we got to try. You know, I got a code. I got to get one new person. There. No, I'm just fucking around. Um, no, like it's not like you said. It's not for Xbox. If PlayStation starts this shit, are oh, they going to hear from us too? But for anybody, you can't use Unreal Engine Five as an excuse. I think that's the lamest fucking excuse out there. Because here's the thing. If you are using Unreal Engine 5, which is a new way to develop, it's, you know, it's a new version of a way to develop games. And the way that it's designed, you can't meet the expectations of the gamers all the way around. Then the tool isn't ready yet. It's not ready yet. So if you know gamers are expecting 60 frames per second games, modes for your game and you can't do it with Unreal Engine 5 then the, the, then the tool isn't ready yet if you know that your target I'll put it like this if you know that your target audience rather is expecting a 60 frames per second mode and the tool set that you have cannot produce that then simply put you can't use that if you want to make a game like Cold Blood said that's graphically stunning that uses this Luminite or Luminar or whatever the fuck these effects are, fine. 
But like, if what Digital Foundry said is true, Cold Blood, where if you're making a 30 frames per second only game, you got to build it that way from the beginning, then you need to talk to your audience that way. This is a graphically stunning game. This is not a game that, that's built upon 60 frames per second performance. We're here to graphically stun you and, and give you some of these visual effects. So just so you know how to do Okay, boss, but then sell it as a fucking tech demo. It, yeah. I, I agree. Not, not as a full uh, game. Well, it's triple A game. Exactly. That's the problem. They, they, no, you should have said it's fifty dollars because it's a fucking uh, tech demo. The actual, full, exactly. the actual, actual the full game is going to take a while. Yeah, it's an interactive tech demo, exactly. But guess what, Cold Blood? If I tell you it's an interactive tech demo, who the fuck is going to buy it? Nobody. That's why these wow. these. These motherfuckers are liars. That's why they lie. You, you, wait, you love your early access, so uh, <laughs> they <laughs> have it. And it's called a tech demo, though. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. If you know that the standard today, every generation has a standard, bro. 8 bit to 16 bit, 16 to 32 bit. You, you said 2D to 3D. Every generation has a standard, right? For its AAA game. Like, there's some exceptions, but it's understandable because of the genre. Like, a turn, like if I'm playing a turn based, even turn based games over 3D, but if I'm playing a turn based side scroller, but those aren't like, those are running off of old gen technology. So, those aren't, those games usually are not going to be like today's equivalent of $70. So, if you're trying to sell me a top of the line, triple A genre defining game, it better have a 60 frames per second mode. If the tool set that you're working on, can give me all this impressive visual stuff, but can't give me the performance that is customary for this generation, then it's a tech demo. And yes, if you want to charge people for tech demos, fine. People got the money to, to, to do that, fine, fine, you know, let them do it. But don't sit there and wait three days before launch and be telling people yeah, well, you know what? It's because I'm like you were like you were trying to figure this shit. This is what they try to make it sound like they were trying to figure this shit out all the way around. When, it, according to Digital Foundry, you built this game around 30 frames per second from day one. But you're trying to make it seem like, oh, we, we, I mean, we tried, but uh, now we got to release this game, and it's Unreal Engine's fault. They did the tools, the tools. It's bullshit. And you guys need to call it out. If you don't mind 30 frames per second, that's fine. Not a problem. If you don't mind it. Uh-oh. Hold on one second. Cole, uh, you, got, you got booted out, Cold Blood? I got I to gotta request you again? Okay. Damn. <laughs> you were like, oh, nice. Okay, request to speak. All right. So, I approved it. So let me do a document. We're having fun with this. We're learning a lot from this shit, by the way. All right, cold blood. Cold blood. Mm -mm. I actually like this, but we gotta we, we gotta get hold on. Uh, no, it won't even let me. I won't let me hit you, bro. Request to speak. Mm -mm. It's not even letting me co invite co host. Oh, here we go. Okay. What the fuck? Can, can you join the space? Just join the space. Because it's saying you're not even in the space. So go ahead and join the space, and then I'm going to try to add you that way. This shit is. Okay. Yeah, y'all. Oh, there he goes. Okay. So uh, he joined. Uh, let's do this. Uh, invite to co-host. Okay. Did you get you get the invite? Oh, this thing is acting real weird, bro. This is one request to speak. I'm assuming that's you. For some reason, that's so weird. 
cold map. Why is it okay? Um, cold blood. Come on, cold blood. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try it this way. It's saying that you're not in the space, but I just saw you in here. You're listening, right? Hmm. Wait, can you hear me? Okay, now I can hear you. I can hear you now. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it out. No. So let me and I want to fix something on my end too, because the only way I can see who's in here. Wait, 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 wait. Are, are you actually muted? Am I muted? Is your microphone red? No. Can you hear me? Okay. No, I, I can hear you, but uh, for me, it says you muted yourself. Oh, oh, you yeah. know, it's, it's saying that in the, uh, it's saying that in the, uh, uh, because I'm on a computer too. Cause that's the only way I can see who's in there. Like, I can't even see you on my phone. Yeah, I can't. I can't even see you on my phone, bro. It's crazy. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's what happened. It was uh, it had me muted uh, on the computer, and I, I can't unmute. That's what I was. It's weird because I'm like trying to unmute myself on the computer. I think you can talk on a computer but i don't know that's what i'm doing now oh you're talking on a computer oh okay yeah ah you motherfucker hey that's some shit well then I'm, I'm gonna have to try that too but yeah so what, what are you oh, okay so what are your thoughts on that cold blood about uh the, the tech demo like what, what what should be the prices and, and, and how should the announcements go you know what I'm saying? Like, what are your thoughts on on the whole? Because we, we, I think we properly defined it. It's a tech demo. So, how should the tech demos be marketed versus how they're being marketed now? Uh, well, normally tech demos come out with new hardware, but uh, yeah, the Series X is not new hardware now. <laughs> It, it, it feels like uh, last gen all over again. They're <laughs> late the dollar short with this shit, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. How, how would you define it? I don't know. I mean, no, I think a tech demo is out. Yeah, normally, the tech, that's what tech demos do, but hey, look, people change things all the time. So if you got a tech demo, if you, if you are really excited about this technical display, like, wasn't there, wasn't there a PlayStation game to where they kind of gave us like a tech demo version of a game, and then the full fledged game came out later. I'm trying to think. Mm. Wow. Well, back in the day, they tried Killzone 2. Okay, and yeah. It all, but it was only a video. That they never actually okay. delivered d d delivered any, any playable version of that. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Like why can you? Why they, they did so, later, but the the quality was much worse than what they showed in the video. The video was just theoretical <laughs> possibilities. I think I can remember that. I think okay. All right. I mean, but, but fine. I mean, you know, look, man, you got a whole bunch of fucking diehard Xbox people. They they'll gobble that shit up. And if you want to put, and then it's still content for Game Pass, right? But uh, my thing is, why is this Hellblade two? You know what I'm saying? Like, why ain't this Hellblade the, the 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 ulterior motive? You know what I'm saying? Or Hellblade the the secret scroll? So you mean they're gonna make a what do you call it a spinoff for part two or what? Yeah, ex exactly. If you want to do a tech demo and you want to put a fifty dollar tech demo out there to give people a taste of what they're gonna get visually until. So do you 
Actually, yeah. if, if I think about it now, uh, Gran Turismo had something like that. Yes, yes, that was it. Gran Turismo. Yes, that is right. That's what I was thinking. Yes, you're right. That's what I'm saying. And look, me and you might not, that might not appeal for us, but, it, but maybe it will. Maybe we're like, well, you know what? Fuck. It's in Game Pass. Let me check out this tech demo. Okay, this is cool content and it's playable. All right, fine. It's like you said, the expectations are lowered. So therefore, the acceptance of it is greater. Uh, but, uh, Paul Game is in the space. Paul well, Game, okay. what's going on, brother? What's up, man? Well, now I made it so everybody can just join as a speaker, yeah? So, okay, good, 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 good. So right. y y you can start talking if you want to. Oh, something's going. He sounds like he having a problem with his mic. Something. Or oh, maybe he doesn't try to talk. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I mean, on my phone, it's, it's going. It's going like crazy. It's going haywire, man. It's lo it's looking like Hellblade if they tried to put it at 1080p, man. It's sitting there blinking and flashing, bro. What's going on? You all right, man? Look like OG trying to send us an SOS. Is Phil and Aaron Greenberg trying to burst through your windows, shut you up, man? Let us know. <laughs> Shout him out <laughs> in his basement. Shout him out. Um, no, I wasn't trying to talk. I'm, a, I'm at work. Oh, 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 that's cool, Paul. What's going on? Yeah. 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 What's going on, gentlemen? Yeah, that's my first time ever speaking to you guys. Yeah, yeah, man. What's up? So, uh, thank you for joining. First and foremost, something that we, you know we're trying out and we're looking to do in the future. Um, but if you do have a few moments, I know you're at work. If, if, if let us know what your thoughts are, uh, what your thoughts are on this. In regards to thirty frames per second, how it was being applied with Hellblade, all that stuff. Just, just, just give us your thoughts. But I never had really an issue, honestly, with any game being thirty frames per second. I'm not that dude. But for them to market their console as that and to say, "Hey, 4K, 60, uncompromised," and and for them not to even have the option is crazy to me. I don't have an option to go. 60 or or above on a game that's it's somebody it's intimate combat one-on-one i mean the screen is not filled with with uh with ai characters it's just one-on-one -on -one fights and it's 30 frames per second that makes no sense but yeah. it's procedurally generated <laughs> it has very advanced tools in the game that's what they call this yeah. <laughs> isn't that justified now exactly yeah no, I, think, <laughs> I, I think we hit the nail on the head, bro, when we were like, because look, every day, why would you hide this, right? Like Paul Game, Paul, shout out to Paul G. He said this in the chat, man. Like, why are you hiding this? If if it's not that big of a deal, why are you hiding it? Because you know it's an expectation. And furthermore, you know it's an expectation that you are the one that helped at the beginning of this generation. You did so so much that you made it seem like that your competition's ability to do so was inferior, right? Yeah, and we see we see right. Ridge and Post Up saying, hey, this is oh, the man. best looking game of the generation. I mean, <laughs> does it look that good? I mean, I'm looking at the graphics. I, I don't yeah. see breathtaking. I mean, yeah. I, I thought Horizon I West it. was no. better. Look, I would judge it when I play it on my PC that can actually run it at 60 with 4K. Yeah, but I want to see it the running test for this game. I know, but I want to see it run on the X. Bro, I want to yeah, see it on the X. Me too, but fuck the X. <laughs> and fuck the S. <laughs> yeah. We just want to see it because we, we want to laugh at that shit, though. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the thing about it, though. The, the, when, when they were talking about the power of the X, they tethered it to this graphically stunning, quote-unquote, Hellblade 2. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's on them. They did that to themselves. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I just don't see the stunning graphics. I mean, do I think the game is ugly? No. But do I think it's the best looking game this generation? No. No. Yeah. They're making some serious strides in some of the textures and facial animations and stuff like that. I'll, I'll give, I'm going to give them that credit, but at the cost of what? Because 
Let's not front. Frames contribute to the visual aspect. We don't play games in, in, in stills. We play games. It, it's a moving product. So how does it look while stuff is moving around? If it looks like someone took a, a handful of oatmeal and just spread it over your screen, well, how impressive is that? Now, granted, what Coldblood is saying, yes, on your PC, you're going to get the real effect. But again, when you marketed this Xbox Series X, it wasn't supposed to be this bad. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be no 964. It better look uh, uh, at least as good as Horizon Forbidden West. Yeah. It, on, yeah. On PC. Yeah. I mean, goddamn! All, all this talk about uh, uh, cinematic and graphics. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, there could be texturing and lighting that looks more impressive there, but if the overall ambiance of the game looks blurry, just doesn't look right, the draw distances are bad, right? Then what? Okay, I, I, you know, I can your eyeball. I can see your veins in your eyeball, and it that's and, it, and it's glossing in and all that other stuff. But everything else about the visual array is off. You know, it's a balance. It's a balancing act, and you don't get to do some of these tool sets that are on Unreal Engine Five that do increase certain elements in visuals, and then just forget about the rest. That it doesn't work like that. That's not going to fly. You know. Something is if, if I if I don't look at this game, if I can, I'm gonna put it like this: if I can look at a PlayStation Five, fuck, fuck PlayStation Five, the console, and Cold Blood can co-sign on this, and I know we are we were you know joking around whatever. If I can look at Horizon Forbidden West on the fucking cloud, right, and say, oh my god, <laughs> you know, like jump my head back and go, oh my god, I better do the same with Hellblade on the Series X. If I can't do that. Then what was all this using Unreal Engine 5, capping it to 30, 964, was it worth it? Was it worth it? And to me, the answer is no. So, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, but Horizon, Horizon's open world. And that, and that is true. Yeah. That is absolutely true. I'm trying. I'm apology. I'm trying, man. I'm I'm trying to advocate for them in some reason. I'm trying to give them uh, you know. Digital Foundry, man, they they're like the ultimate trolls right now. Yeah. I mean <laughs> these are the guys that that introduced the console for them and had the specs before anybody and how great the console is gonna be. Now they're trolling them. Mm -hmm. What did that do, bro? You know why they got to? Because they, they look stupid. Porter Rock had put that tweet out by Richard Ledbetter, one of the more astute members of Digital Foundry, where he said, as a matter of fact, it appears that the PlayStation 5 is going to... So he went off of the rhetoric that was being shared by the pro Xbox people. Not the developers, because you had Mike and Barr and other developers telling you otherwise. But you had the fanboys telling that the PlayStation 5 was not going to be able to put out close to the same output. The foundry went off of that, and he said this in his own words. He said, as a matter of fact, it would appear that more PlayStation 5 games are going to be, you know, hamstrung to 30 frames per second, when it's the complete opposite. Of course they're going to troll now, because they got to save grace. But they still uh, try to damage control with all the visuals. The pebbles yeah. look looks yeah. so good. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. fucking pebbles. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on, oh, no, I missed it. You, you, oh, you said they said the paddles look so good. Pebbles. Oh, the pebbles. Oh, no. <laughs> As you said, the, the boat paddles. <laughs> Which the pebbles is even worse. Fuck about the goddamn, the goddamn pebbles. Oh, man. Yeah, they're trying, man. They're trying. They're walking a, a tightrope. I'd, I'd hate to be them. Uh, but for the average consumer, my suggestion is just you can't listen to Digital Foundry when it comes to their their uh, um, what do they what do you call that their predictive stuff. You can't let you know listen to their analysis. Let them give you the numbers after they get the shit in their hand, and, and that's all they're good for. That's it. But uh, yeah, man, I I think I think we I think we hit the, the head on the nail. Uh, these are tech demos. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, and the tech demo has been downgraded. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I would say so. <laughs> Just like how you downgrade a tech demo. Was, was all, <laughs> you know how what? you downgrade a tech demo? As far as yeah, Ubisoft is notorious for downgrades, and yes, they yeah, do. We downgrade a tech demo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and, and, and again, that is that is the craziest because um, you, you, all the compromises that you're making, you're making compromises. You would think that you're doing that to obtain or to, to maintain the visual fidelity that you've been showing since day one. So if you, you, you hold on, so you're giving us 30, you're letterboxing the damn thing, and this is fucking 964p. Like, what, 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 why? Well, what's the purpose? What's the point? This is bad as that 792p 30 frames per second on the Xbox One. Yeah, you're talking about what, what was that, Quantum Break? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was bad. Yeah. Yeah. So the Series X is the new Xbox One. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the Cold Bluffs point, yeah, they did. I, I think what they, they did. They can't blame it on Ezra, 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 uh, Eram, whatever. Yeah, they, they, they can't do that no more. <laughs> they can't do that no more. No, they, 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 can, they can blame uh, <laughs> Xbox for doing a split RAM configuration now. <laughs> but they're not gonna because that, that would say they're dog shit as a developer. So it's always the RAM. <laughs> yes, it's always the RAM. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want to say, off. Moss? I, I cut him off. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Uh, oh, you're right. you're right. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, um, what the hell? <laughs> I was just saying that um, Cold Blood was right about you know they, they they did do a downgrade on on Star Wars Outlaws. I think what they did is they took the they were doing some they were going with some like smeary effect you know a smoky effect and they removed it which was stupid because that that like added to the ambiance of Outlaws and they removed it and when you remove that smoky effect it just it, just, <laughs> it don't look as stylistic it just looks. It made it look jankier, but I, I never was super impressed. Well, which is the difference? I think Paul G's point. I was never like super impressed with how Star Wars. I thought it looked really good. I'm not gonna front. I thought I was like, oh shit, this shit looks good. I, I like everything the way it looks in, in Snowdrop. I like the Avatar too. Yeah, well, when they initially showed it, I was like, yeah, I got, I have to get this. Mm -hmm. When yeah. I saw the other day, I'm like, eh, all right, I see him yeah. Black Friday when it's thirty nine bucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I, I called it. I called it before it happened, boss. I absolutely called it. You, you cannot even deny it. Yeah, they all, no, They always downgrade. They always downgrade. And, and to me, I was disappointed that they removed the smoky effect. The smoky effect should have stayed. The, that's not something they got to they, they gotta get over that. They got to get over that hill of, the, you know, they want people to respect what they can do and respect well, them when they are on point and then you do something like that. That doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't. It doesn't add up. But I, you know, at least I, to that point, I don't think that. Um, because another thing is with Snowdrop. Snowdrop isn't an engine that's known for Last of Us style of facial animation. It never was. I mean, it can make textures and visuals and stuff look good, but when it comes to human animation and movements, it's always been janky. So even got some jank in Avatar, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I never looked at that game like I did Hellblade and said, "Oh, hold on, this this shit does look impressive." Like I never was like impressed. I was like, "It looks good, and visuals do matter to me." But when I looked at Hellblade, I was impressed. To come to find out that, okay, you're going to 30 frames per second. It takes it off my list. But for those that can handle 30 frames per second, they made the compromise. And those people will enjoy it. To only come to find out that shit, <laughs> not, they didn't just make the compromise that hurts me. They made a compromise to hurt them too. To 964 to 1070p. Like Phil Spencer literally just said, oh, yeah. yeah, we're going to keep that extra 10. <laughs> we'll keep that 10 with us. <laughs> Couldn't even give them 1080, man. Shit's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, 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 Jason. <laughs> He's telling Jason wrong. Nah, Jason. What, what nobody says, what nobody says is uh, Digital Foundry made a calculation 
Mm-hmm. It's not exactly uh, the 964P, mm-hmm. but, it, but it's, it's calculated from something they did. I don't know. How yeah, they, yeah, they, they got a video. They got a video. Yeah. It was a 1440p output, I guess. Mm-hmm. And then they calculated based on what, on some fucking technique, they calculated the exact resolution it was running at. Yeah. Which, <laughs> are you, what are you trying to suggest, Cold Blood? It could be even worse. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. I mean, bro, imagine this this game goes down to below 720p. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> there's gonna be one scene where, where there's that one enemy, but free, just in, in the background. Yep. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just background is. <laughs> gonna tell everybody the games look best played on a CRT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you play, yeah, you got a problem with this? Yeah, put it. Yeah, yeah. Just grab your CRT. Yeah. yeah I, I, <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Xbox, y'all be fooling, man. Hey, look. If you got a Series S, even though they still lied about the Series S capabilities, if you have a shred of common sense, you knew what you was getting with the Series S. I agree with Doc Dark there. Like after, okay, maybe in 2020, like shout out to Nethos. I remember when Nethos was, was battling me and he was like, yeah, man, 1440p, 60 frames per second gaming, that's going to be the stuff. I'm like, bro, number one, a lot of gamers don't even know what 1440p is. Secondly, at the time they didn't. And secondly, this shit ain't going to constantly get you know 1440p, man. Come on. Come on. But, okay, maybe but in 2020. Did you, wait, did you predict that game was going to run bit below 1080? Oh, um, bro. I, I knew that back to, bro. I, look. After Cold Blood, Paul G, I was in line getting my Xbox One X, dude. I, almost, <laughs> I stood in line. My my business partner was looking at me like I was crazy because he don't play games all like that. He was like, "Yo, like why is we here?" I'm like, "Man, I'm getting my Xbox, my my Scorpio." He was like, "All right," <laughs> He's like, "Okay." Got got my Scorpio, took it home. I even had him record me doing an open box. I almost put that shit online, going against. All things that I need to avoid because of my job, right? I'm, I almost risked it for Xbox. That's how indoctrinated I was. My ass would have been fired. <laughs> I didn't care. That's how. That's how. That's how much of a grip Phil had on me with his advert and his advertisement and his lies. I had to Xbox One X, bro. The moment I put it in and I played it, and I was like, oh, okay. I mean, this is cool. And then the moment I picked up God of War 2018 on a two hundred dollar PlayStation Four Slim. And it looked better than anything on my Xbox One X. I knew Phil was a lie. I knew I couldn't believe anything else that he had to say about hardware. I knew. I knew it. I knew it. Anybody else that got an Xbox One X and then also had a PlayStation 4 should have known better. <laughs> that any hardware promises that Phil makes is a goddamn lie. So I knew that they wasn't going to do that. I knew it. I never fell for the... 12 teraflops. I didn't care about the get. I didn't be. I didn't get into all that shit. I just listened to what the devs did. And I don't know if y'all remember that show I did with Z, or, or, or the Bob and Bully show that we had, where I called that motherfucker out. He went and did the thousandth episode. Shout out to Geek to Sleep. He did the thousandth episode on uh, Gamer Tag Radio. And after lying for months saying that there would be no compromises. All they got to do is scale up and scale down. He finally admitted on the thousandth episode that there would be compromises. Because I predicted it. Said you can't trust this dude when it comes to hardware. I knew that. See, people think I'm I'm just hating and and I want to get along with you know PlayStation and me and Cold Blood. We're gonna be chilling out in Berlin and I'm trying to get him get me a free uh, ticket and track ticket over here. This ain't about that. I actually had the hardware. I had the games. I was supporting this platform since the, the very beginning of the uh, the generation. I mean, since the, the, the uh, not the generation, since its lifespan. It's true. It, you can't believe them when it comes to hardware. Well, after the scale bound lie, I was done with them when it counts to scale bound. That's it. I was done. True. I, true. I, I was disenfranchised when they canceled Fable Legend. I, that I never understood. Never will. Never understood. When, never. I, when I had to listen to posts talk about how bad uh, the developer is, I'm like, man, this developer has released 
nothing but bangers since Scalebound. Bro. I mean, what what dud has they, that uh, developer released? Uh, uh, they they called me and Tim everything but the child of God. Ain't nobody trying to say that. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to say that. <laughs> 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 he need to go get him some pickle pig seat and go sit the hell out somewhere. Ain't nobody think about him, man. Yeah, now hot water cornbread. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> that developer has... That developer has a track record of making okay. games with great gameplay. Uh, was it Platinum Games? I mean, yeah. what dud has they released? Yeah. Yeah. I, think I know Cold Blood. He's probably Googling it right now, but what dud they released Cold Blood? Who did what? Uh, Platinum, Platinum Games. Games. Uh, uh, fuck. Uh, Babylon's Fall or something? That, that was a flop. Not any. I'm not talking about for its sales success. We're talking about just for as how good the game is actually is. I mean, there are good games that don't sell. Uh, asshole Chain was one of them. <laughs> 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 I forgot about that one. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, that's a Switch. Who could make a good game on Switch? Like Z say, that's, that's a pedo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm not. Um, I, I, I'm not upset with anybody that can handle 30, or that's cool with 30. I just think that 30 frames per second only gaming needs to needs to stop. There's no excuse for it, and I just don't think that you can use Xbox. I mean, you can't use Unreal Engine 5 as an excuse. I'm just, you know, catching up again. Uh, I'm always thinking ahead. The people that are listening to this, because I listen to a lot of spaces after the fact too. So if you just happen to be listening halfway through. Uh, that's what we're talking about. We're, oh, we're, we're, Astro Chain Metacritic 87. Oh, okay. Astro Chain had an 87 meta. Okay. Yeah. You know? It, yeah, that's it's a fucking good game. I was just joking, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah, yeah I'm, just saying, the game. I'm just saying, you know, I, just aside, they, don't release, they don't release They don't release too many duds. I don't... I have Astro Chain at home. My son, he loves it. He finished it. I don't have many... Uh, I, I don't see them releasing many bad games. Yeah, but they but they try to tell you that Scalebound was in a bad state. Mm-hmm. But they kept, you know, yeah. they kept. like like I mean, so then he then he I mean, released Crackdown Three. If you think so you about it, tell me that feel feel oh, know what a wait, great game is. Wait, wait, wait. If you think about it, Babylon's Four was a fucking failure, and it was a multiplayer game, and they tried to make Scalebound a multiplayer game too. So. Maybe Platinum should just keep their hands off multiplayer games. Maybe that is the fucking problem. Yeah. That's not their forte. I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe the multiplayer aspect of it was a problem, and maybe they were, they kept getting investments. Who, who knows? I just feel like... I, I, can, I cannot comprehend why Phil would say, get the fuck out of my office. Like, bro, know. nah. I don't think that was Phil. I think that was um, I think that was Satya. I think they just they just cut the money off. They cut the money off, and he and he said, "Let's see if you can finally if Xbox can start making some money." And that's why they didn't come out with shit. Yeah, Phil, Phil, I mean, look at the games Phil has green light. He, he green light. He green lit all these games under his tenure. Name the great. Uh oh, Phantom Dust. That's not the reason I asked it. <laughs> Phantom does. That's awesome. Like me as a grown ass man picking up a five hundred dollar box, there was no bigger joy for me to know that the game launched with my Xbox One X was fucking Phantom Dust with the original assets. That, that that just delighted the hell out of me. That just made me feel even more special. And no, 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 no. Super High lucky quality man. pixel. Yeah, <laughs> super lucky style. That, that's what that's what did me over. I, I I really was excited. That, yeah, I mean, look, man. Dude, I wish I could show you, but we're in the spaces. Uh, I'm gonna pull it up. There is an infamous thing. Z always hits me up. Shout out to Z. He always hits me up. Here it goes. Let's look back at the PlayStation Three versus the 360, right? And we take a look at when Phil uh, uh, took over Xbox. Like this, he took over in 2008, right? So reasonably so. By the time he took over, these games that released in 2008 were already Xbox exclusives. Lost Odyssey, 
Codicep Saga, Two Human, Infinite Undiscovery, Viva Pinata, Fable 2, Gears of War 2, Banjo Kazooie, Dance Dance Revolution, Kingdom Under Fire, Circle of Doom, Operation Darkness, Spectral Force 3, Zoids of Soul, Guilty Gear 2, Seen It, Lips, You're in the Movies, Naruto, Broken Bond, and then I think you add to that list uh, Bioshock. I think it was Bioshock or Mass Effect, one of those was in there as well, if not both, right? Here's the exclusives once he started taking over. Halo Wars, Halo ODST, Anchinari Bikini, Magna Carta 2, Forza, Lips, Indie, Re Evolution, Race Pro. The next year, 99 Nights 2, Lips Party Classics, Crackdown 2, Halo Reach, Morph, Naval Assault. The year after that, Gears of War 3, Forza Motorsport, Halo CE Anniversary. The year after that, Halo 4, Forza Horizon, Akai Katana. You see what I'm saying? So, once Phil took over, not only did the games dwindle, but the quality of the games started to you know, dwindle, drip by drip, and they just started relying on what? Halo, Gears, and Forza. That's it. We can blame Donnie D all we want. He's the head of studio. Yeah, yeah, Miles, but he's such a good guy. You know, he's likable. He speaks to me in spaces and on Twitter. He tweets me. He tells, hey, he asks about my little son, Timmy, with the club foot. You know, so there you go. <laughs> hey, you know what, Paul G? And you know what I got to say to that? Because it, it's funny that you say that, that a lot of people do bring that up. But what I would ask them is, what did that do for Tim Dog? <laughs> what did that do for my brother? Shout out to my brother, Tim. What did that do for Tim? Tim was playing games with Phil on a regular basis, getting tickets to shows and shit. Motherfucker met him up on in, in the you know in, the, in mid country. They met up for drinks and shit like that. But I mean, you as a gamer, as someone that's not an Xbox employee, you don't get no closer than that. And look what happened. Even the wool was you know I mean a lot of it you know there was a lot of capital angle front, but even he didn't foresee what Xbox was doing to this extent. So. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys that are happy that Phil signed your shirts, that um, he, he mentioned you in a tweet, all that superficial stuff, that doesn't mean that he cares. It means that he cares to keep you indoctrinated. That's all it means. As Tim Dog. So what you're saying is that uh, Xbox is more about the man and not the brand? Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. I couldn't put yeah. Absolutely. That's what it became, bro. It became about defending Phil. Once the ponies were across the street, ah, look at this dummy. Ah, he don't know what he's doing. He's goofy. Once they started taking shots at him, instead of Xbox gamers focusing on the output, they felt like they had to defend him against the ponies. And they've been in that tug of war ever since. Where the ponies were just sending out shots just because that's what they do. Because you were sending out shots to them. Bef the, the generation before. That's all it was. And, and these mugs, they, they felt like, oh no, we got to defend this dude. That's what it's all about. It's about defending Phil. That's crazy to me. So, so. why didn't they call it the Spencer box then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they should have. They should have called it the Spencer box. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't believe any promises hardware-wise. I'm not even, look, we're even speculating on the AI and the machine learning and the cloud gaming stuff that it's going to be more capable. I'm not even 100%, I'm not even sure about that. When it comes to output and, del and delivery of your product or your service, this team is a failure. Now, again, I know some of my cloud people. I know some of you Game Pass gamers are going to hear that and you're going to say, oh, MM2K, you're a freaking hater. Why? I love this thing. That's, that's like I remember I had somebody a while ago. Why do you keep talking about Xbox now? I love them. That's fine. Not a problem. I don't want you to stop enjoying Xbox. This, isn't, this conversation isn't for you. This is for the people that act like they have expectations like how we do and act like they have standards. And then they're trying to cap for some of these moves that are being made that are counterproductive to those standards 
expect it. Well, let's just give them one more chance. They're going to deliver. No, they're not. No, they're not. If you like Xbox, that's fine. I, I, I make the comparison and people will be mad. They look. If you're the one, we got a store around here called Save a Lot, right? And here's what Save a Lot does. When shit gets expired, they still keep it on the shelf. <laughs> so by the time you go in the store, motherfucker could be like two months old. The hot pack of hot dogs, they got green mold like moss all over them. They're, they're still selling them. That's how you save a lot. And you might shop and say, like, that's a big joke around here. You, 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 have, you want to save a lot? Oh, man. And some people shop and live off of save a lot. Their stomachs can take all that shit, right? That's fine. I'm, I'm not mad at you. But you can't be mad at me because I don't want to sit there and eat the moldy, musty hot dogs with you. I have standards. I can't eat that shit. I need 60 frames per second. 30's not going to do it. I don't even know what the fuck a 964P is. Is, is that an area code? Is that next to Houston, Texas? What, where the fuck, what, what the fuck is that? I don't even know what that is. I, I'm, I'm looking for, at worst, an upscale 1400P. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're going to sit there and compromise frames. I, I don't even know what this is. What is this that you're trying to sell me? It's not even worth $50 to me. So, those are just my thoughts, man. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't make any excuses for any of these platforms. I'm not totally sold on the PlayStation 5 Pro. We got to see what the fuck that's going to do. But as, that's, and that's the way it should be as a consumer. Like, you can't expect everybody to just like what you like because you want it to succeed. If you want something to succeed, it has to captivate you and it needs to captivate other people who have other tastes too. That's what they get paid all this big money for. You guys act like these guys have been hired out of the Salvation Army and they're not getting paid anything. These motherfuckers are making six, seven figures. They're making more money than you'll ever see in your life. And you're sitting there crying, boo-hoo, you're not being fair to them. <laughs> like, stop it. They got every resource in their pocket to do what you expect them to do. They're just not going to do it if you don't hold them to a stand. All right. Oh, damn. I actually got a business call. What the hell is this? All right. Let me. Okay. Well, let's, let's end this, guys. But any final thoughts before we end this? No, nah, I'm good. Just, uh, hey, I appreciate it. Good talking to you. Thanks, man. Come back yeah, next Yeah. Bro. We're trying to figure out how often we're going to do these. Yeah, thanks, Paul. We appreciate you. Thanks for your support, bro. We really appreciate it. Cole, brother, any final thoughts before we get out of here, bro? Yeah, I think we should uh, make this, like I said, maybe once or twice a month. And then put it first for members, maybe for a week or something. Sounds good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Maybe some of them don't have Twitter, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, yeah, I, that's what I wanted to do today. Oh, yeah, and if you guys can, please follow at MM2K Game Network. Because if I can host this there... And you guys get the notifications that allows me to record it on my main account. So please follow us at MM2K Game Network. Follow the YouTube. That's where you get all of our game stuff. All right. All right, y'all. Appreciate it. I'm out of here. Let me take this business call, see what's going on. Till next time, have a wonderful gaming day. Peace. Bye.
That's crazy to me. So why didn't they call it the Spencer box then? That's crazy to me. So why didn't they call it the Spencer box then? Ah, they should have. They should have called it the Spencer box. But yeah, I, I mean, I wouldn't believe any promises hardware wise. I'm not even look. We're even speculating on the AI and the machine learning and the cloud gaming stuff that it's going to be more capable. I'm not even hundred percent. I'm not even sure about that. When it comes to output and, del and delivery of your product or your service, this team is a failure. Now, again, I know some of my cloud people. I know some of you Game Pass gamers are going to hear that and you're going to say, "Oh, MM2K, you're a freaking hater." Why I love this thing. That's that. Like I remember, I had somebody a while ago. Why do you keep talking about Xbox now? I love them. That's fine. Not a problem. I don't want you to stop enjoying Xbox. This is this conversation isn't for you. This is for the people that act like they have expectations, like how we do, and act like they have standards, and then they're trying to cap for some of these moves that are being made that are counterproductive to those standards. Expectable. Let's just give them one more chance. They're going to deliver. No, they're not. No, they're not. If you like Xbox, that's fine. I, I, I make the comparison and people will be mad. They look. If you're the one, we got a store around here called Save-A-Lot, right? And here's what save 